Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we have some more bathroom bolos. I've got, I think, three other videos about bathroom bolos. They can go for big money. They can also be bread and butter, but they are definitely an item you should be boloing for. I think that's not a word, but we're gonna use it. Bolo stands for be on the lookout. And I basically teach on this channel, of channel, I teach on this channel, about items you can buy low and sell high. So we are going to get started here with some bathroom bolos. You can find these items at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, you name it, uh, probably on Facebook Marketplace even. So uh, offer up all those places. Look for bathroom bolos. All right, you guys, let's get started on my channel. Um, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and this is my YouTube channel. I also have a channel called Sourcing with Bolo Buddies and Reseller Testing Bolo Products. Those are linked down in the description. I've got two Facebook groups, an Instagram, a Pinterest, a Twitter, so you can find me on all those platforms. All right, you guys, let's get started here. Um, let me find the one I left off on. Okay, so Mentadent. All right. Mentadent is a toothpaste. It is discontinued. Um, these can go for crazy money, you guys. I recently sold one of these for big money. Um, I did a challenge video. I think it was called Thrift 5 and 15. If you put hashtag Thrift 5 and 15 into the YouTube search bar, it will pull up everybody that participated in that channel. In that challenge. Oh my goodness. Sorry, you guys, it just struck midnight and I'm losing my uh, ability to think. Um, but anyway, everybody that participated in that challenge, uh, those videos will pop up. One of the items that I thrifted that day was Mentadent. I think mine went for like a hundred bucks. You'll have to watch the video to see, but I did not win, but I had some great pickups. So um, check out those videos. They're lots of fun. You'll learn about a lot of Bolo items. Um, but this Mentadent sold for $70 plus shipping. So you guys, if you can find these new in the box, new old stock, definitely pick them up. The next item is vintage diapers. I suppose these could be found in a bathroom. Um, vintage diapers. Wow. Um, you're looking for the older ones that have the plastic backs. You guys, these are collectible. Um, I'm not going to go into why. You can research that. Some are purchased for advertising for like movie props and stuff like that, but um, they're collectible and it's usually the bigger sizes that are collectible. So if you find the smaller sizes, they don't go for as much. Uh, these Pampers went for $199 plus shipping. The next item, this antiperspirant or deodorant, things that are new old stock that are discontinued. People love them. They want them. These a lot of times are bread and butter. But a lot of times you can get them at state, estate sales for like pennies in a box. Like take the whole box for five bucks, you know, that type of thing. This sold two of them, new old stock for $19.99. Is that big money? No, but it's easy to list, easy to ship. And um, I think it's a great bread and butter bolo. So I wanted to share it with you guys. It's probably a think outside of the box type bolo item. The next item, I have sold this one. It is downtown brown. Um, it is a Mary Kay color. It is hard to find. It is discontinued. If you find downtown brown, you're looking at 35 to 45 bucks um, if it's new old stock. So I don't think you can sell it if it's been used. But this is new in the box, sold for $41 plus shipping. But that is the one Mary Kay lipstick color that I know is a big money bolo. There are other colors that sell well, but downtown brown is definitely a bolo. Vintage makeup compacts. So you guys, these range. This one, um, the person decided to sell them as a lot. They sold them for $58.69. Um, to me, again, another item that you could get at an estate sale, probably just thrown in a box, pretty cheap. Uh, people collect these and pretty cool bolo. Here's another one, you guys. This one went for $86. This is an old 1960s Revlon makeup case. And how cute is that? $86. And I don't know. I can't tell if there's still powder in it or not. But they're basically selling it for the case. The next item that sold is this Old Spice mug. These are a bread and butter 
I think I've sold some for like 30, 35 bucks. Um, they do come in different patterns. They're the Old Spice shaving mugs, you guys. And I actually just picked one up recently in an, I think it was an estate sale. Um, you can usually get them for a buck or two and they're good for 25 to 40 bucks, just depending on which one you get. Um, so not big money, but a nice bread and butter. Okay. Vintage perfume, perfume, cologne, sprays, new old stock. You guys, if they are new old stock, I'm pretty sure that you can just list them under perfumes. I think you can also list them under collectibles if they are new old stock. Um, someone recently reached out to me, one of my subscribers who I know very well, and she, um, called eBay and eBay told her that you cannot list used perfume under collectibles. I was under the impression that you could. So when she told me that I removed all of my perfumes that are pre-owned, um, because a lot of times people still want them for the bottles. The bottles are collectible, but it looks like eBay is saying no. I just want to give you guys a heads up because they didn't have this rule. It's a newer rule. And I used to sell vintage perfume for big money on eBay. So it's really, really a big bummer in my opinion. I really don't understand why they have made this stop because, um, I mean, I understand like used makeup because it touches your body, but a spray, I, I mean, it's a spray. So that, I don't know. Does anybody know why they are no longer letting us sell pre-owned perfume? Let me know in the comments if you do. Now, again, um, I said this in another video, I have not heard of anybody getting anything removed or anybody getting in trouble, but that doesn't mean anything. I do have a really big uh, Facebook group. It's got about, I think we're over 40,000 members. And usually like if somebody gets in trouble, they will post it. I haven't seen anything. That does not mean it hasn't happened. So if anybody has been in trouble or gotten a perfume taken down because it was pre-owned, please let me know in the comments. Um, and then everybody can kind of check out those comments to see if anybody has posted anything. I am really, really curious about it because I would love for eBay to let us sell used perfume again because there is a huge market for it. People want those discontinued scents or they want the bottles. Um, I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. This one again is new old stock. It sold for $98.99 plus shipping. The next item that sold are these vintage Incredible Hulk toilet paper. So you guys, vintage toilet paper can be a bolo also. This one actually looks like it's a comic strip on the toilet paper. So super cool novelty item. I'm actually surprised it didn't go for more than $26. Um, when I do auctions, I typically start the auction at the minimum I'm willing to take. I probably would have tried to start this at $74.99 and waited on the right buyer because you are not going to find this again. This is going to be a hard to find item. So anytime you can find toilet paper that has different things and prints on it, definitely, definitely bolo for that. Super fun. Here's another one. This is from pre-1925, it says. It's vintage Scott toilet paper, you guys. How crazy is that? It's still sealed. And this sold for $49.95. How crazy is that? I love bathroom bolos. The next item that sold is this old um, ceiling light fixture. So again, people remodel their bathrooms. They take these things out and then people buy them because the person that took it out is not interested in it anymore. But the person buying it may be going for like an art deco or a mid-century modern look for their bathroom. Maybe that's their style. So they will go on eBay to find these items. So if you see them out, it, there's definitely a market for it. This light sold for $320 with free shipping. Oh, I'm sorry, buyer shipping, but they had local pickup offered. The next item, again, somebody's tearing out their bathroom. This is a toilet paper holder, you guys. It's a wall mount. So one man's trash is another man's treasure. This sold for $29.95. And I mentioned this in another video that I just um, recently did on bathroom bolos. Um, Rachel Strickland, she has a YouTube channel, a reseller channel, and she was over on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel doing a thrift battle. And she was talking about tearing apart her bathroom and she's going to part out the items from her, from destroying her bathroom. And she's going to sell that stuff on eBay because it's vintage, hard to find, and she's going to pay for her new bathroom with it. So check out that video over on Primetime Treasure Hunters uh, channel. He does thrift battles with 
different YouTubers that are resellers and then they battle it out. Super fun, great content, great way to learn about bolos. Here's another one, a vintage brush, brass toilet paper holder, you guys. Four bids, sold for $27. Is it big money? No, but you could easily find this at a garage sale, probably for a buck or an estate sale. And, you know, a dollar into $27 plus shipping, that's good margins. Look at this one. Now, this one is a little bit older. This is a vintage APW paper company, Albany, New York, toilet paper holder. And it says that it works. It had one bid for $85. So definitely a cool bolo. The next item are these ceramic tiles. And it looks like 100 ceramic tiles sold for $89. Uh, made in Japan. And Rachel Strickland was talking about these that she pulled out of her bathroom that she plans on selling. Hers were different. You'll have to check out the video to see exact, exactly what they look like. And she talked about what she was planning to sell them for. The next item, again, are these wall mounts. It's for soap and a toothbrush holder. 25 bucks. Pre-owned. Pretty cool, right? Oh, actually, those look like they were new old stock. So I apologize. I misspoke. Okay, this is a ceramic toothbrush holder. It's a little red riding hood from the 1930s, 1940s. Um, it looks like it was it says winning bid of $39.95 plus shipping. I figured something like this would go for a little more, but definitely a cool below. All right, you guys, vintage toothbrushes. These are nylon, 100% nylon. And you guys, again, this could be for vintage advertising. I have no idea, but these toothbrushes sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Oral B. Okay, so floss, you guys, vintage floss or um, discontinued floss. It can range from bread and butter to big money. There's what, five of them here that went for $55.99, free shipping. Uh, these are from 1991. Dixie Cups. Here's another one. So these are Star Wars themed, but a lot of times you can find the old Dixie Cup holders in the bathrooms and people need the cups, but these are Star Wars. So it's got a couple things going for it. They went for $92. I imagine most of these are going to be bread and butter, but because this was Star Wars, it went for a little more. The next item are adjustable safety razors, men's. You guys, these range from $50 to $100 to $300. They are all over the place. Some go for less than 50. So bread and butter to big money, it really just depends on the brand, the style, and all of those different things. But if you see one of these razors, and a lot of times they're pretty grimy and gross, you'll have to clean them up. But a lot of these can be big money bolos. So definitely check it out. This one went for $136.50 plus shipping. Here's another. It went for $485. So you see what I mean by um, just a huge difference in value based on what style and what brand it is. The next item is these twin bead vintage ponytail holders. Okay, so if you can find the bigger twin beads, those usually go for more. These are Goody brand. Anything Goody, look it up. You guys, these will still sell for good money, even if they are not in the packaging. So if it says goodie on it, look it up. Goody sells. People collect it. They love it. Um, nostalgia. Just And I think people probably still want to wear them because they're just better quality. Next item are these Stay Tight Class Brettes. These are also by Goody. You guys, if you can find the three-inch Brettes, they are money. This is what they look like. Um, they say goody on the inside. I actually have a video talking about it. Um, I think it's called, I bet you didn't know about this bolo, but I sold some that are faux tortoise shell for big money, more than $43. I can't remember exactly what it was. It's in that video, but these sold for $43 plus shipping. And these are kind of the pastel colors. This is a vintage Avon hairbrush, you guys. Some of the Avon hairbrushes can definitely be a bolo if you can find them when they're new old stock. Somebody out there is looking for that brush. This brush sold for $60 plus shipping. This is a vintage Soaky Toy Batman soap bottle. So it's an old soap bottle, you guys. It sold for $44 plus shipping. Just crazy. It's got some wear and stuffs on it and uh, be on the lookout. 
The next item is, um, this is detergent. Um, this is more of a find it in the laundry room, but I thought it was pretty cool. So I threw it in here. Uh, it's sold for $52 plus shipping. It's called Duz, D-U-Z. Um, this could be like an advertising prop for a movie or something like that. I doubt somebody's going to use it, but you never know. Estee Lauder soap. You guys, vintage soap can also be a bolo item. The ivory soap I know could do well. I've sold Yardley before. Um, anything that's new old stock, um, discontinued, definitely look it up. You might be surprised how much you can get out of a bar of soap. This sold for $32 with free shipping. Here are these ceramic fish. So mermaids, fish, seahorses, anything that's kind of like an underwater theme. A lot of people will buy these for bathroom decor. These sold for $127.50 plus shipping. This one is ceramic. They also come in chalkware. This is a Lucite silver coin money toilet seat. Um, I have seen these before. Uh, it's a thing, you guys. This sold for $330 plus shipping. How fun is that? Definitely cool. The next item that sold are these um, Lefton Bathroom Mermaid Kissing Fish. So again, I told you guys fish also do well. These sold for $82 plus shipping. The next item is this Caswell Massey Number no. 6 Talcum Body Powder. Again, discontinued, new old stock. I believe it is vintage. Sold for $89 with free shipping. So body powder, guys. Johnson's and Johnson, or I'm sorry, Johnson's No More Tangles Leave-In Conditioner. $31.50 for this, you guys. It's new in the box. I'm, I'm guessing it's discontinued. It looks like they sold one for $33.25. They still have two left. I don't know. I, I don't know. Does anybody know? Is it discontinued? Why is it going for $30? This is another one. It's Clinique. It's a roll-on perfume. This is new without the box. So I don't know if, um, I think as long as it's new old stock, you're okay. But uh, again, don't quote me on that. I'm going to be really careful with perfume um, now that I know that this new rule exists. This one sold for $50 um, plus shipping. All right, you guys, that concludes this video. I think that was like 34 or 35 bathroom bolos. Um, check out my other bathroom bolo videos, you guys. There are so many bolos that you can look for in the bathrooms. Um, it's one of my favorite places to go at estate sales. Most of them are empty, unfortunately, but some of them are jam-packed and you just never know. There's also like shampoos and conditioners and um, hairsprays and stuff like that that are discontinued that can sell for money, big money also. Some of the old chapsticks and lip balms. Um, there was one I shared a video on a while back. I can't remember what brand it was. If anybody remembers, let me know in the comments. It was some sort, I think, flavored like um, like the gel lip gloss, lip gloss, and it was going for crazy money. It looked like a seller had um, gotten their hands on a bunch of it, and it was just going for big money. All right, you guys, like I said, I've got a bunch of Bolo category videos. Some of the other ones are stickers, made in Japan. I've got um, items you find in the kitchen, um, tins rubber mounted stamps, wood rubber mounted stamps, um, plush, Build-A-Bear, so many, uh, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day. What I do is I pick a category and I do a deep dive and I search for like high solds so that I can share with you guys to help you learn and help me learn. So there is a whole playlist on Bolo category videos. Definitely check it out. Uh, if you made it this far, please leave me a, an emoji of a smiley face. Yes, a smiley face emoji. All right, you guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.